I'm feeling semi better now after a long week of sickness, whatever, and I have other reviews to post because they're late and I haven't, even, I've edited them, I just haven't posted them. And now let's talk about a movie that everyone's so excited for, a CGI puppy. The Call of the Wild. This movie stars Harrison Ford and a CGI dog. I don't need CGI in my life. I have two Chewinis, Brady and Emmett, after Tom Brady and Emmett Smith. Look at them! They're adorable! This is what you use, movie! This is how you make money! Use cuteness! Look how cute they are! Ew! Lips! Anyways, I had to get that little riot out of my head before I saw this review, but for real, this movie does star Harrison Ford and a CGI dog, and it's based off the famous book, The Call of the Wild, and basically Harrison Ford is on his lumps, he's just, he's had a life, things have happened to him, and he's just not going anywhere, and then he runs to this little dog named Buck, and basically Buck is a CGI dog, who is from California, had the richest home, and then some things happen which lead to him going into this, like, icy area, which he's not used to, and now him and Harrison Ford need to get back to survival and live, basically. Um, I went in this movie very, like, just, like, not excited. Like, I was like, I don't want to watch a CGI dog with Harrison Ford. Like, I just don't. The trailers, it, it just, it just, it took me out of the movie, watching those trailers. And that's what the movie did. This movie, like, I, this is a good movie. Like, <laughs> I can't lie. I want to be saying, wow, the acting was good. From one, from certain people, there's one person we'll talk to in about a second. The scenery looked beautiful. Heck, I can't even lie, the CGI looked good. There was a bear in this movie. It looked pretty good, like, I, gotta, I gotta admit. Heck, even Buck, the dog, in some scenes looked really good. When he's laying down and Harrison Ford's laying next to him playing the harmonica and pushes up to his face. I mean, the dog, like, its muscles were like moving its face like an, like an actual dog. I guess I was like, wow, like, that is just awesome CGI. But the thing is, the dog acts like a cartoon in many scenes. Like, there's one scene where a door gets shut in its face, and he, like, jumps up and, like, he's like, oh, what? Like, he doesn't talk, but, like, his mouth and his eyes move, whatever. And it's just not right. It, the, the dog ruined the movie. And that's sad to say, that's sad to say because, this, like I said, the, the, this is a good story. It's like Forrest Gump and Warhorse, the first part of the movie. You don't even see Harrison Ford. The dog's like getting uh, mis misputted and getting taken away and getting on the ship, whatever, breaking out of the ship, meeting different people and everything. And then finally, after like 15 minutes, you finally get to Harrison Ford and they finally get to this area and then he's got to survive, whatever. For me, when Harrison Ford and that part of the movie came in, the movie was more intriguing. I was more interested. I was like, this is actually a good movie. First part of the movie felt very much like Forrest Gumpy. Like, I was like, all right. We're pulling Forrest Gump here with a CGI dog named Buck. And I, I, sorry, the dog took me out of the movie. Like, ah, there's, it just, it felt like a cartoon. Like, the dog felt so cartoony and looked cartoony in some scenes and acted cartoony. I'm like, what are you doing, movie? Like, there is a lot of old people in my theater. And I was like, what are you going for, movie? There is an older audience for this movie. And then you're bringing in this CGI cartoon dog. And some people in this movie were like, oh, and everything. I was like... How are you saying, oh, it's a CGI dog. The dog is literally like taking away his alcohol because he's drinking. Like it was going for jokes, whatever. And I just didn't buy it. Like I said, the dog ruined the movie. So overall, this movie was just, it was a good movie. Like I actually say, I would actually recommend this movie. And also one more thing, one more thing. Dan Stevens, I mean, come on, dude. For real, he plays the villain in this movie. He was as bad as the guy from Doolittle. Like, it was bad. I will give The Call of the Wild a C+. What's funny is, I actually read this book in school when I, when I was little. Like, I forget what grade I was in, but I did read this book. Really crazy to, years later, I get to see Harrison Ford with a CGI dog. Just, what, what a year, man. <laughs> anyway, guys, you guys enjoy this review, and I'll see you guys next time.